Hey everybody, thank you for dropping into DeFi Divi. My name is Matthew, and welcome to another DeFi Roundup where you get the latest DeFi and crypto news, and also video deep dives coming this week on some projects that I'm excited about. Today, just a couple quick stories that really got me geeked up especially the second one here, but let's jump into the first one. Let's get right into it. This one from Coindesk. DeFi's Ave launches Web3 social media platform Lens. Uh, this looks really exciting for a number of reasons. But let's continue on. After months of teasing a possible move into social media, popular DeFi lending platform Aave has finally made the leap. On Monday, Aave founder Stani Kulichov announced the launch of Lens. What he described on Twitter as an open composable Web3 social media protocol to allow anyone to create non-custodial, a non-custodial social media profile and build new social media applications. Okay, yeah, so this is the beginning. This is the beginning of something new. It sounds like you can go to Lens, you can create your profile, which is essentially an NFT. So you, as a human, are now kind of becoming an NFT in and of yourself, your social media profile. You know, I love that because I don't know if you've seen the movie this is the social experiment or social, uh, I forgot the name of it. It's the one about uh, social media and how when you're on a social media platform like Twitter or Facebook and you're, you know, you're out there wondering, wow, this is so great how they can deliver all this for free. It's because you are the product and that's how they can deliver it. You, your every impression Every web impression when you're surfing around that website is actually a transaction. It's them getting more data from you so they can better market you and sell you and you are the product. And so what Lens is doing in my, what I perceive it to be as you are also the product, but you are the owner of your own NFT. So you can reap those rewards from being the product in instead of a centralized social media platform. Uh, I really love it. I went to their, to their portal and, and took a look around. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty uh, self-explanatory. It's time to own our digital roots. We believe it's time to see social media through a new lens. We believe in social media that is composable and extensible. Yeah, I mean, those are developer words. They're going to probably need to uh, drop the developer words so uh, mainstream people can actually start to grok this stuff. But uh, we believe that we should be able to control and monetize our own content. There you go. I think most people can understand that one. And we believe in social media where we are not a metric for sale. Don't you? Absolutely. I believe in that 100% lens and Ave. Um, so that sounds really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing more from this project and who knows? I mean, there's probably so many ways to, um, make money and I believe they're offering grants. If you're a developer, uh, I am, and I don't know if I'm going to put my dev chops to work here. I'm having real, I'm having a lot of fun exploring other areas of DeFi as a developer and right now, mostly just as an investor and, and all that. So I kind of don't, I know what kind of focus it takes to create an app and I'm good at it and I can deliver, but I, I don't think I'm going to go there right now. But this looks like a great opportunity for developers to get an early. They're offering grants um, and there's, if you're not a developer, it looks like there's so many ways to monetize yourself as an nft so that's a really cool project okay let's get into this one uh this one from bitcoinist four exciting DeFi projects worth watching in 2022 now i looked at the top three and they're they all look great you know they're all they're all solving uh some of the problems in DeFi 1.0 
Um, they're solving problems with liquidity uh, and some of the other problems that are running rampant in DeFi 1.0. So these first three look great, but the one that really, really caught me was this fourth one called Centrifuge. So I really liked this project. Unlocking the liquidity of real world assets. Centrifuge, Centrifuge is another interesting DeFi protocol that will play a critical role in shaping the DeFi 2 movement. Unlike most of the other projects we've discussed so far, Centrifuge aims to add liquidity to the DeFi ecosystem by bringing the untapped trillion dollar economy of real world assets to the blockchain. Yeah, so we hear about that a lot, right? Tokenizing everything. Um, and so Centrifuge looks like that is their plan. Uh, that is what they're going for. And, um, and it's, it's already happening I, I, there's so many areas I would love to see this play out and uh, as an investor and just as this is like one of those DeFi projects where the, the, the change to the status quo really hits me. Like, so for example, you know, imagine you're a homeowner, right? And you just lost your job and you uh, don't have one and it's starting to get kind of late, you know, and you might... You're 30 days away from losing your home. The bank's going to take it back from you. And so right now you have an idea. Oh, well, maybe I'll go to the bank and I'll, I'll get a home equity line for, you know, a couple hundred thousand because I have more than that in the equity of my home. And you go to the bank and they're going to say, no, we're sorry. We can't give you a home equity line. Y you don't have a job. Um, but don't worry because we can take your home away from you. So you don't have to worry about that. You know, we'll just take your home and you won't have to repay us. But and then once you get a job, maybe we'll, you know, give you another loan. So that's pretty, pretty uh, sucky. Like when you need the bank the most, they're not going to be there for you. So now imagine in that same scenario, you can go ahead and tokenize your home equity, put it up on the blockchain in the form of an NFT. You now created a non-fungible token that is your home equity specific to your address. And you put that NFT up for sale in a marketplace. Someone buys it, which is similar to your home equity loan because the terms of that NFT can be, okay, I will repay you by this time. And then, you know, blah. So, uh, it, it changes the whole dynamic. It helps people who are in trouble. Um, yeah, there are, there are, you know, holes in the system that need to be worked out. Lots of kinks that need to be worked out here. But I mean, that's just one use case I can think of where it's really helping people like people who are in trouble. They can, they don't have to get a loan from a predatory lender or a bank they can actually create the value themselves by minting an NFT of their home equity, putting it out there, selling it, or actually issuing it as a bond, if you will, taking that money, living off of it for a while until they figure out how to repay it, maybe then refinancing through a bank. In whatever case, they'll have competition. Banks will have competition with decentralized uh, systems. And I like that. Uh, I'm sure they won't like it and, and they'll, they'll probably find ways to try and stop it, but we'll see what happens. I mean, it's definitely interesting. So centrifuge has me excited. Uh, I looked into the website quite a bit and right now it looks like they have 67 million, 500,000 total value locked. Um, and yeah, I, I looked into the coin. It looks like it's, um, dropped quite a bit since it peaked. It looks like it had sort of a, you know, bell shaped kind of curve. So it's kind of, it's, it could be undervalued right now. Who knows? Um, I imagine this product project has a lot to work out because they're going to tokenize real world assets and that's pretty complicated. It sounds like, but I'm rooting for them to solve it. Uh, let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Centrifuge? You think they're going to solve this? You think we're going to be able to create NFTs out of our home equity and our cars and invoices and uh, who knows what else? You know, an NFT of a software business that I have. Who knows? Um, as long as it's an income, a stream of income or store of value like a home, uh, that's where I see real value in NFTs. I, I, I'm not a collector, so I don't really... 
um, get the art side of it so much. Not because I think it's it doesn't make sense. I'm just not an art collector, so I wouldn't understand which one's valuable and which one's not. I would have looked at uh, you know bored apes and went, yeah, I don't I don't know. And then you know I would have missed I, I've missed out on those millions, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this up. Those were two projects that came across my radar this morning. And I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, please keep in mind, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I am just some guy on the internet creating content. Hopefully you're enjoying it and getting a little value and it's uh, inspiring you to do your own research and investing and all that fun stuff. Okay. So until next time, have a good one. Talk to you soon.